Today on The Slant Lens, I'm going to teach you how to levitate th things. You'll want to check out our new stop motion download, two and a half hours of tips and techniques from Trisha Zemp. You'll love the things she talks about, a tasty video, the b &H logo. Go to theslantlens.com where you can download yours today. When I started doing this kind of stuff, we didn't have Photoshop. And so you would just suspend things in place. Everything had to be suspended. There was no compositing. And so in the final imaging, take a look at some of these images. Here's a lady blowing through the uh, room. Every piece in that shot has been suspended with fishing line from overhead. Sometimes I'll take and I'll put up a, a chicken wire frame so that I've got all kinds of places to be able to uh, tie my fishing wire to. In video, it's much harder to retouch out fishing lines, so you want to be able to make it work organically in the shot and not reveal itself. So like you've got an astronaut who's floating and you've got to have a wrench floating to him. We can use a piece of fishing line to be able to make that happen. And if it's lit correctly and in the right place, it won't reveal itself and the astronaut's reaching up for it. So I'm going to show you the knot I use to tie things on. It's just a fishing knot. And that is I take it around my subject here. I'm going to put a loop under my finger and I'm now going to tie this around, wrapping back towards the, the weight. And then when I get to the point that it's far enough, I'm going to now, after I wrapped it about five or six times, I run it through the loop above my, above me, and I wrap it through the loop below me. I wet it. And that's gross, but there you go. And then that gives me a nice, it slips back on itself and tightens together as you put more weight on it. And I can pick this up. Now this is only a four pound. I don't think I can hold this up with... It's got to be more than four pounds and I can feel the weight it's stretching on there. So there's my first one. That's an easy one. I tied it on the handle. No biggie. I cut this little extra stuff off from here. So now I'm going to take and do my next one which is a little more difficult. This is with hot glue. So I'm going to take and I'm just going to drop some hot glue on here right on top of my fishing line. I'm going to embroil it in that and it's going to start to melt into that fishing line. So the reason that I love uh, compressed air is because I don't want to wait for the fi that uh, hot glue to dry. So I just simply give it a nice spray and it'll be solid in no time and I'm ready to go on here. Now I can take this sip and I have a second line here on my pitcher. Pitcher, picture, pitcher, pitcher, picture, pitcher. Another method for attaching fishing line to things is using hot stuff glue. This is a specialty glue. This is like a, a thick uh, gap filling glue. You dump this on, you put your fishing wire onto the glue, and then you spray it with an actuator, and that uh, makes the glue solid almost immediately. So it's an actuator glue combination. Now there is a, a cure-all or a, an uncure. That uncure will take and release the bond of this glue if you want to get it off from things. And I've certainly glued to things that I was thinking, I got to get it off from that because someone's not going to be happy. So now that we've got our fishing line attached to our object, let's talk about how we suspend it to the pole or to the chicken wire frame that we've got, how we can get it into place and be able to make it work. So I give myself a little extra fishing line and I cut this and I do not tie it to this because that's just too hard. And also if I want to adjust it, I can't do anything. So I wrap it around about three times and then I piece of gaff, put a piece of gaff tape on it. Now when I want to, I can pull that gaff tape off and I can adjust the height of it. So depending on what you're suspending, it's a matter of weight ratio. I've got four four pound lines here. That means, is this 16 pounds? No, but it gives you a nice little tug on it. And those four lines are going to make sure that it's nice and secure on there. It's not going to fall. If I put two on there, it would probably hold it. But if I bump it or one of them gives way a little bit, it's just going to fall. So I always overkill and I put more on than I really need. So you choose the color of your fishing line depending on what the background is, what you're going to be able to hide it in. Camouflage, brown or clear, deciding on what it's going to be in the background, what this is going to blend in the most with. So if I were to put a kit together, this is a fishing line I'd put in that kit. One pound would be great if you can find it, but I can't find it anymore. So four pound brown, four pound clear, four pound camouflage. Now you may want to go to something a little heavier, like an eight or 16 pound, uh, I rarely have used anything heavier than that because it just gets so large it almost becomes now more like rope. But the idea is to make something smaller that you can hide. So those are the ones I would have in my fishing kit. The four pound is probably going to be your go-to for most of the things you're going to do. So if you've got some ideas, some things that you've used Fishing Line for, join our Facebook group. Post those images up on that Facebook group. Put them in the comments below. Tell us how you're using Fishing Line and uh, give us some examples of some things that you've done with it. 
gonna help everyone understand some different ways they can use it. So keep those cameras rolling and keep on clicking. If you're going to grow in your business, you gotta get some help. You gotta get help from mentors and people who can help you grow. I can do that for you. Go to thesunlens.com, sign up for our business material. It'll help change your life. You can sit and think about business or you can do something about it. It's time to do it. You're gonna to wanna to subscribe to The Silent Lens so I don't have to stand and hold this picture here all day. Oh, thank you for subscribing to The Silent Lens so I don't have to hold that thing all day. Hey, what's wrong with you over there? How come you haven't subscribed? Oh, thank you very much so I don't have to hold that thing all day long. We want you to subscribe to The Silent Lens. We're gonna give you great material, teach you how to do great photography and video techniques. So check us out here on The Silent Lens.